wanted to talk today about the importance of cleaning a high-risk environment, in particular, the public restroom. Now, why are public restrooms a high-risk environment? Well, there's a number of factors that go into this. Um, probably the most blunt, candid, and graphic description I've heard of a public restroom was when Dr. Michael Berry referred to it as the biohazardous waste transfer station. Quite simply, that's because it is the place where biological waste is transferred from one system to another, and it doesn't always go smoothly. There could be drips, spills, accidents, overflows, plumbing failures, and whatever. On top of that, there's this phenomena called the toilet sneeze, which is every time a toilet is flush, it can create an aerosol of toxins that can contain uh, microorganisms such as E. coli, Shigella, urine, and other things that settle out on floors, dispensers, sink handles, and other surfaces, creating pretty dangerous disease transfer points. In addition, public restrooms are just one of those places that people go when they're not feeling well and they're sick. I mean, people will even pull off the freeway looking for a public restroom to uh, take care of their business. All of this creates a rich blend of microorganisms and rich food sources in a perfect growing environment that's contributed by hundreds if not thousands of people. Unfortunately, these problems don't stop at the restroom door. These microorganisms and contaminants can be tracked throughout a building on shoes, on book bags, on purses, and even on the tools of untrained cleaners. So the more we understand about the way that these is transferred, the more we understand the importance of cleaning. In fact, many environmental scientists would say that cleaning is the first line of defense against infectious disease. ISSA recently put out an infographic that stated that effective cleaning can reduce the chances of catching the common cold or influenza by as much as 80% and can reduce absenteeism by 46%. It's clear that that cost to businesses and schools can be tremendous. Health and safety aren't the only risk factors. There are other business factors as well. A recent study stated that 94% of people that visited a business and experienced the dirty restroom would not go back to it again. Also, many BSCs that I've talked with have told me that all businesses won or lost in the restroom. So it's very clear that cleaning can have a, a tremendous impact on businesses and on the health of those people that frequent those businesses. Effective cleaning is extremely important to mitigate these risks. How do we know when we're clean enough? Fortunately today, there are a number of tools that are available, such as ATP monitors, that can tell us when we've cleaned the surface. And recently, ISSA has released a, its first in a series of clean standards that can provide valuable information about methods and processes that will help schools and other businesses put together effective cleaning programs that can help mitigate these risks. To view more quick clips, visit ISSA.com.